So we're preparing an apparatus to be used on another planet, planet Cassi. And we're asked, and given that 25% of the volume uh, of the apparatus, is, if placed on seawater, 25% of the volume is submerged, um, what is the volume submerged on this new planet? So we have the density of seawater, which is going to be <clears throat> 1030, or rather 1030 kilograms per meter cubed. And then we have the volume of this apparatus is going to be 0.25 V on Earth. And we have the density of glycerin, which is going to be 1,260 kilograms per meter cubed. And then we have um, the, we're trying to find rather the volume two equals on Cassi. So, First, we need to recognize that the on Earth, the buoyant force, in order for this to float, the buoyant force must equal the uh, force of gravity of this apparatus. So here, the buoyant force can be further defined as the density of the seawater times the volume that is submerged of the apparatus times the acceleration due to gravity on Earth equals the mass of this uh, apparatus times the uh, acceleration of gravity due to the Earth. Here, gravity can be canceled out, and we're trying to find m. So m would simply be equal to 1,030 times 0.25 v, given that 25% of this volume is submerged. This would give us 200 and 57.5 V kilograms. Now, we need to uh, apply this relationship to the other planet. So if we were to do this, the buoyant force is again equal to, must be equal to um, the mass times the gravity. So the buoyant force, the, the force due to the liquid that is displaced um, must equal the force of this gravity. Now. Here, we're going to further define this as the density of glycerin because now it is in a glycerin ocean instead of a ocean of simply salt water. And this is going to be times uh, V2 times the gra uh, acceleration to gravity on this new planet Cassi equals mass times the gra uh, acceleration due to gravity on, again, Cassi. So this, again, can be canceled out, and we're finding V2. So V2 can simply be the mass divided by the density of glycerin. At this point, we can see that we simply need to substitute for our values 257.5 V kilograms divided by the uh, density of glycerin being 1260 kilograms per meter cubed we find that this is going to be equal to 0 0.204 v which means that on Cassi 20.4 percent um, volume submerged. So given that we have 25% of the volume submerged, um, given that is a floating on seawater, transferring this over to a new planet with a new gravity, new gra a new acceleration due to gravity, um, but more importantly, a new uh, type of liquid, rather, instead of seawater, we're using glycerin, we can find that on Cassi, 20.4% of the volume will be submerged of this apparatus. So here, um, it is also important to note that when finding relative percentages of this volume, 
the gravity change actually did not matter in the end and it simply canceled out. So again, that final answer is 20.4% of the volume is submerged. And that's the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.